Hello, I'm Ben. This is Bike from the Brink, and I am going to clean up this rectifier. I've done on my other video, there's a heat sink that this belongs on. There it is. Uh, the earth contact goes through. Uh, I think it was that one there looking at it. Excuse my audio, it's lashing it down. This is the four wire heat sink, which, sorry, four wire rectifier. They reckon the five wire is better because you've got a, an actual wired earth. Um, your earth on this, you're counting on it passing through there through your bolts to your frame and the other thing I'm going to do I'm going to clean up these contacts in here they're not too bad but I reckon with a, a little screwdriver in there they should come out just be a bit careful they are about 33 years old no it's not coming out could do with some of those little, uh, what do they call them? I've seen them on a key ring, there's a load of little, little sliders that fit these tiny little gaps down here. There is a gap there, that should fit in there. Come on, you can do it. No, there we go, it's gone. So yeah, that could do with a little bit of clean, but overall not too bad. It's not really corroded, is it? And I think they'll come out as well. Looking uh, down that hole there. So I'll start with this uh, this heat sink. I'll give that a buff up, clean those contacts up, and uh, we'll see how it all comes up. Yeah, that's come up all right, isn't it? Quite nice. Certainly be a better contact than it was. I think I'll drop a, a drill bit through these holes just to clean inside them, the inside of that uh, bit there. And maybe just use a little tool around there. This, uh, this is a bit big and numb for this. I'm going to have a go with this little, uh, little grinding tool on my Dremel. I wouldn't want to use it for uh, any amount of area, but give us a contact there, but a bit more there. I think that'll make contact now. We still might be wrecked, but we'll find out. Can you hear that rain? <laughs> yeah, they all came off easy enough. You've just got to get your screwdriver in and press that little tang there and they slide out. So I'll give these a little scrub over, a bit of contact cleaner and put that back together. So there's the earth lead. I'll give that a little polish. The, uh, the clip was a bit of a pig to get off. It should just go... Which way around it go? That way. Hmm, of course it doesn't go that way. Think about it. So yeah, that's uh, nicely polished up now. So I'll just bob this back together and we'll see what happens. There are M6 that hold the uh, rectifier to the heat sink, which frustratingly I don't have exactly like came out, but. I'll use these hex ones and some lockers for now. I might change those later on, but we'll see. Should 
I'll have to put that inside or out, but it looks to me like it was sat against there previously. Or was it underneath? Who knows? Anyway, I think I'll do it that way so there's less chance of nipping it. We'll get this on the bike. I'm going to test the voltage with the one that's on. It's currently working and then we'll test it with this one and see what difference it makes. <laughs> 